Seeing a grave of over 70 years is one thing that many people will want to see. And yes, it is evident in Vora Sub County at a place called Ewachako where the grave of the first colonial political appointee for the people of Vora County, Sultan Esara, lies. His lineage is from the ancient parents of the Lugara people, Banyale and Ofunyaro from Mount Wati. This is the grave of uh, Isara, who was the son of uh, Avoye. Avoye is a descendant of uh, Dibidu called Banyale from Mount Wati. Dibudu was the hero ancestor of Lubara people. From being a cultural leader, the colonialists gave him a political position as the first leader of the people of Ra County, alongside many other chiefs from Lugbara, Alur, Kakwa, and Madi clans in the Western region. Then, uh, uh, in 1919, Isara was appointed the first political leader of Ra people from being a traditional leader. Then in 1930, that's when he became the Sultan uh, for entire Vura people after unifying Logiri, Arivu and Vura itself where he was at first the chief. Uh, from there, Isara ruled for uh, close to 30 years up to 1949 when he died in his ancestral home and this is where he was buried on 26th of uh, July, 1949. The grandchildren have continued to ensure existence of the tomb so that many people willing to see it can have the privilege. And this writing was in 1949 and we have preserved it. Uh, formerly it was the brothers who actually preserved this tomb now when we grew up as the descendants, we also preserved this graveyard and we have preserved his house which has lived close to 100 years. So this is a place uh, we have uh, now upgraded as a tourist destination. Being a chief in the gone days had its own benefits one of which was to have as many as possible wives, and this led to Chief Isara having several children from over 13 wives, with many children not known in the current generation. Yeah, I'm a grandson. My mother was uh, the daughter of uh, Sultan Isara, and Isara had many wives. And the many wives, they all produced children, and uh, in all the clans, especially Ayivu and Vura, you'll find Isara's descendants are there. Not only in Vura and Ayivu, also in Kampala, even Nairobi, and so on. That's where you can find descendants of Isara now scattered almost throughout the world. He had 13 wives officially married, but there were other concubines whom we have not fully uh, recognized all. The house in which Chief Isara was buried has now stayed for over 90 years and the house was built for him by the missionaries and the founder of the current Kuluva Hospital, Dr. Edward Williams, as a reward. This house, according to information, was built by the missionaries and uh, his friend Dr. Edward Williams in around 1930s. So this house was built for as a reward for his effective work in Vora and also linking so many uh, international people such as uh, Dr. William of Kuluva Hospital who founded Kuluva in 1948. We are told he's the one who gave that land for him. I really want to thank the people who constructed this grave and built for him the house because the house has lasted now for about 90 years. Then the grave is uh, about 70 years. So for us to preserve this place for another 200 years, we, we are in plan to renovate this structure and also to build uh, a good floor around this tomb so that people who visit this place will have uh, comfort 
as they visit this place. We are also aiming at building a complex, a, a library, which will have restaurant, which will have apartments for hosting visitors coming from many parts of this country or in the whole world. Because Sarah was connected to so many uh, local and international friends who will really be interested to come and visit his tomb. The emphasis on the need to have family history is the major message that the descendant of Chief Esara has for the people of West Nile and beyond. Every family, every clan needs to have a history and we need to know where we belong or where we came from. So Esara has made us to identify ourselves as brothers and sisters. The Esara's brothers, Esara's sisters, they have produced a number of uh, now the third generation which means the third generation is able to identify itself these walls are black first of all they have really lived for long this is a very old house secondly one of the daughters uh, after failing in marriage came back and stayed here for over 20 years and was also cooking in this house that's why you see there's a smoke all around the wall